Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching a movie, and that movie is Knives Out from 2019. Now, I've never seen this movie, but they just released a second one, so I figured this would be a great time to do these movies, you know, because I've heard a lot of good things about them, and I'm not sure I know exactly what it's about. I'm pretty sure it's like a murder mystery, though. But I saw the poster, and I was like, wait, well, I know like four of these actors already. So then I looked up the cast. Dude, there's so many actors in here that I know. Like Daniel Craig, Chris Evans, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, Jaden Martell, who was Billy and It, you know, like Chris Evans, who was Johnny Storm in the MCU, Joseph Gordon-Levitt from Don John, Daniel Craig, James Bond, you know, and then Jamie Lee Curtis from Halloween, you know, and then I don't know her name, but it's the girl from, it's the mom from Hereditary. I see her on the poster right now. Pretty sure that's Tony Cotelli. Pretty sure that's her from the cast. I don't recognize her by the, her name, so I think that's her though. Or that could be Ricky Lindholm. I don't I don't know. But yeah, I'm I'm actually kind of curious to see if we're gonna see any other actors that I recognize that I just don't recognize them by their name, but I'll recognize them by like their face and their voice maybe. But who knows? I'm I'm really excited to watch this because of the cast. I'm really excited to watch this just because of the cast. So anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well early access to the second movie. The second Knives Out movie will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. Mm, that door blends in, wow. Oh no, he was murdered! Oh, okay, was that a knife? Alright, who did it? I didn't murder nobody! You slashed his face open, you left him bleeding in the street. I'm watching a murder mystery. Friend she loves slit his throat open and she doesn't need to be hearing that right now! Let's be sensitive! Alice, you can keep watching your show, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Would you mind coming to the house early? Marta, anything, you're part of this family. Aww. Thank you. <gasps> How you doing, kiddo? My girl, Jamie. He's not coming. Ransom, little shit. I feel like I should know who this guy is. I do such things as a formality. I am Detective Lieutenant Elliot, and this is Trooper. Mm. All right, we're with Linda Drysdale, Neith Thromby. Linda, okay. The events that took place what? in Madison's demise one week ago. Who is this guy? Number eight. I know exactly who he is. I know who that is. I know who he is. I fucking love this dude. I love him. He was in um, he was in Uncut Gems, with Adam Sandler, and he was in Sorry to Bother You. Sorry to Bother You. I thought that was just gonna be like a chill movie, like a good inspirational movie, but it was it was going it was going like this. And then just took a left turn out of nowhere. If you know, you know. But I love him. He's just, he's a, he's a great actor. Wow. How old is she? We have no idea. <laughs> Early. Ransom, are you leaving? Aw, aw. Feel bad for for Nana. <gasps> Daniel in the back. Father. The two were very close. Seems like all his kids are self-made overachievers. Hmm. The record I'm speaking with Walt Thromby, Wait. Arlen. Walt? Star. It's the family's publishing company. Dad, trust me. Bro, this fool was just in the night before. He was a drug dealer. Oh my god. Mr. Green. He's 16. Very politically active. The boy is literally a Nazi. He's. <laughs> I mean, we're all gutted, but. Uh... Hmm. It's interesting. It's an interesting shot because they, they showed the same shot with Jamie Lee Curtis and Richard lowering the cake too. And then he and they lowered the cake too, so telling different stories maybe. He's a genuinely selfless man. Hmm. But Harlan understood. Why does he keep doing that? Like trying to make like an important note or something? Pause because I just who is that guy? Okay. Yeah, since they're voice recording so everything. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> on uh, I mess on uh, voice memos on his phone. He's making a note in the piano every time they say something he deems important. 
I think that's why he's doing that with the piano. You see your notes and then you can be like, okay, cool, we know where to listen to. Lunch, because Walt was like a wounded puppy the rest of the night. What? <laughs> Dude, why is, why is eyes so blue? That's not gonna stay open. We need to take advantage of it, but then you just need to look at the numbers. Who put me in charge of our books? Let me be in charge. Let me do these. They're not our books, son. They're my books. Bruh. Keep you tethered to something that isn't yours to control. I've kept you from building something of your own. It's yours running the, the publishing house anymore. Dad, are you firing me? Yes. Yeah, it's like they all have their own businesses except for him. I'm going to talk about an argument. Hell, Ransom had an argument. But with Ransom, he's never had a job. But that night, God, they had a blowout. Mm-hmm. How bad was it? Huge. And it's strange. They went into another... Oh, that's why he left. Okay. Please. You tell her or I will. Oh. Oh. You stay out of my marriage. I know my daughter. And she would want to know. I've put mm. all of it in this letter to her. Oh. Gets it. Harlan, I'm warning no, you. No, so no one you're going to tell her. The hell I am. You tell her or I will. Yeah, now it seems like he killed him. Earlier, you know, Richard said you were there. Bro, this, is this motherfucker the Night King? Why is his eyes so goddamn blue? Yeah. <laughs> what were you seeing Harlan about? Hmm. You have been double dipping Meg's tuition and stealing from me $100,000 a year for the past four years. Wow. Joni, I know it'll hurt, but it's all for the. My mind's made up. Damn, he keeps saying that. My mind's, my mind's made up. Have you seen Richard? No, I was uh, just done with okay, the eggs. <laughs> no. Oh, the letter. That never got sent. Yeah, he's getting rid of this shit now. You should read it, because it could say something else. Oh, there was nothing on it. He was bluffing. Wow. Something. Sorry, this is an open and shut case of suicide. And uh, throat slit, typical for a suicide. Yeah, I mean, that's dramatic. Yeah. It's extremely untypical. I mean, the guy practically lives in a clue board. Yeah, that's true. He seemed like a very old school kind of guy, you know? But I feel like the movie is trying to make us think it was, um, Richard, I want to say. You know, because he caught him cheating on her or whatever. And so he killed him so that wouldn't get leaked. But no. Thinking about it though, it, it looked like a suicide, you know? So it's like, how could have someone have, how could someone have killed him? Like, I mean, they could have slit his throat and then arranged to set him up that way. But still, you got to find out more about him to see if he was going through anything, if there was a motive to where he could have offed himself, you know? He needed more help. Medical help. He needed a friend. Mm-hmm. Okay. Might have been really lonely. We would just discuss some possible motives in the family. I suspect that Harlan has told you much unfiltered truth about each of them. Yeah, if she's, the, if she's his only friend, you know? You have a regurgitative reaction. Mm. Is it true? Yes. Mm, I feel like that was more of a guess. Yeah, mm. it, it makes makes me puke. Really? I don't think anyone told him that. Unless I just missed it. Is Richard having an affair? Yep. I think that was more of a guess. So then he can see if he's right. He could ask her something else, you know? An affair? Yeah. So you've been alive? No. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, you yeah. Oh Yep. Oh, so granted. But she lied to me. Mm -hmm. All three of them did. Harlem was cleaning house. Me. Mm. Linda asked who hired me. Who hired you? I do not know. Mm -hmm. it makes no damn sense. Compels me though. <laughs> Challenges me, so I'm in. Heard a cathunk from somewhere above her in the house. Concerned about Harlan, so she goes up to invest waking Linda. Ten minutes later, Linda is awoken a second time. Son, he saw her leave and drive off. Time, midnight. Fifteen minutes later, Linda is awoken for the third and final time. God damn. Oh, that should piss me off. Based on this, the medical examiner determined the time of death to be between 12.15 and 2 a.m. Everyone's stories match. 
I feel like since you guys have already seen this, you know the answer. It's like right in my face. But like, I got nothing. Look, it was a, except it was a suicide, all right? Right through his carotid. We saw from the blood spat patterns that they were uninterrupted, meaning it's possible for anyone to have been around him at the time. Everyone can lie. Almost everyone. Yeah, almost. So please, take your time. I love how all the knives are like behind her. Hey. Mm. Okay, he seems drunk. Back we are not pains, breaking tradition on no. my birthday. Can you just take your gotcha yeah. medicine and go to bed? Fine. Jesus. I'm so old. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Why can't I beat you at this game? Because I'm not playing to beat you. Mm, what game are they playing? I've never seen this game before. Hello. 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 Get up. He's like... Yeah. Oh my god. Mmm. Ooh, ket was that ketamine? No. No, never mind, never mind. Wait, I can't fucking. Ah, it's going too fast. I'd like to fix some of this before I go. I guess we'll see. I guess we will. No, we won't. You want to do drugs? Ooh. Mm, good stuff. Yeah? Oh. Just a uh, tiny bit, okay? What the fuck is that? To mid ages to become a morphine user. What a. Oh, that's morphine, okay. Yeah, more. Oh my god. Oh, oh no! She yeah, fucked yeah. up. Oh no. I don't know what the other thing I read it, but I don't know what that is. I messed up. No. You gave me 100 milligrams of the good stuff. What's dosage supposed to be? Like, like two milligrams? Three milligrams. Oh, that's much less. Oh. So what happens? You die. Emergency shut up naloxone so you don't die in 10 minutes? Oh, well, no pressure. <laughs> uh, it's eightish now, and even if the victim. <laughs> He's so calm about this, dude. So what? <sighs> okay, well. So wait. <sighs> his throat gets slit, though, so this doesn't kill him. Unless. Unless this kills him, and then she just slit his throat to make it look like a suit. I don't know. I, I highly. It comes with the kids, so it should be here. It has to. Oh no. It's like a. Obviously, he doesn't die. He doesn't die. He doesn't die from this. Because his throat is slit. Unless I'm right. He's not here, Harlan. Oh. He's not here. So I'm gonna use the phone, okay? To... Oh no. Oh no. You can look on his face. He he was calm because he knew. He, she, she, he thought she had the thing or whatever that was gonna fix this. Oh shit. But then he. Oh. But then his face when she said she didn't have it, but I guess. I don't know then. Harlan, I need oh. to call Stop the ambulance. This. Stop this. Need to get here. There's no time. What? You have to listen. I'm calling the family. No. Oh. Yeah, and that's what she heard. Listen we don't have time. Listen what to me. Look, we have got to get you out of this. Think of your mom. Yeah. Wow, it's so selfless. Save her. Don't make a noise. Oh my god. Save her. Wow, that's so selfless. <sighs> Fuck. What a man, dude. What a guy. Oh, but yeah, she obviously feels terrible about this then. So, what, it, do it does kill him then? So he's like, well, I'm trying to slit my throat to make it look like suicide. She'll be found out and at best deported and your family will be broken. But we're not gonna let that happen, are we? Oh my god, what a guy. To do exactly what I tell you. Oh. Go downstairs as noisily as you can, and then say oh. goodbye loudly. Walt, I'm leaving. Call Wait, was it before or after? After before. the before. No, he's oh, before. Take the side yard path through the little gate. The dogs will know you. They shouldn't bark. Mm. You've got to get up to the third floor without being seen. And come in through the trick hall window. You gotta be kidding. I am. <laughs> yeah. I like this. I really like this movie. And for God's sake, don't make any noise. Mmm. <gasps> this is the tricky part. In <laughs> my robe, the average cop will entirely dismiss you as a suspect. It mm -hmm. sounds crazy, but it'll work. Through the glazed window. Dad, go back mm. to bed. Later, I'm seen alive and well by my son. <laughs> you see, from suspect number one to an impossibility. Leave. And don't be seen. Wow, I totally we just saved her, dude. Gave her this. <gasps> oh no, that's a problem. No. 
No. Are you back again already? Oh, she thinks it's grandson. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Just spread, just take off. Tell fragments of the truth in mm. this exact order. What a guy, dude. Just came up with that entire plan to save her. Wow. I gave him pain medication. What kind of medication did you give him? Thinking yes. about dad's games. All feels like one. Mm, it could, dude. It could be. This motherfucker could still be alive. I feel like this fool could just be fucking with us this whole time, dude. She plays his wife, who's getting poisoned by her husband, but he's doing it little oh. by little. Mm. She's seeing it. Bro, oh, is that the only thing Chris Evans does in this entire movie? Is just storm out of the house? The medical examiner was ready to rule this a suicide, but Elliot mm -hmm. agreed to keep it pending for 40 years. I searched the grounds on the house, begin my investigation. I want you to be by my side for it. No. Also, you're the only one who had nothing to gain from Holland's death. If you want my insight into the family, none of them are murderers. Mm-hmm. Well, she, she knows she did it, so she's trying to, like, save the rest of the family. Like, no one in the family did it, it but she doesn't want to admit to it, because, you know, it's like, shit. You do as I say, and everything <gasps> will be just fine. Yeah, he's just gonna... Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. No. <gasps> oh, he just did it. Ooh, that's tough. Oh, blood on her shoe. Daniel Craig will definitely notice that. We'll see, we'll see. Cameras pull off the road after the car built. Motherfucker, he said after. We turned before. I swear to God, he said before. Oh my God. Like when he said it live, he the first time he said it, he really said it before. That's some tripping right now, dude. What? His horror movie. You think we could scan forward on that? No. She's gonna hold it, so it just skips right over. But they'll definitely notice. I mean, it's a pretty shitty tape. Who knows? Maybe, maybe they won't. I don't know. They're looking pretty hard. Oh. Party ended. Yep. Like, oh shit, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Oh, what? Smoking? Shit. I got it. Hmm. Okay, okay. De decent save. Unlikely, but, but if they did, there will be traces. Mm hmm. Was she leave like the side gate open or something? Oh, it's, she left the side gate open. Oh. And yet the footprints in the mud leading up to it. Oh no! And her shoe fit perfectly. Or do you? I would just walk. I would just walk right past it. Just you should have walked away. You should have walked like way ahead. Okay. And just like walked over the footprints or whatever. So it looks like you just made those footprints just now, and you opened the gate just now. Hmm. Yeah. See. See. <coughs> oh. No. No. Yeah. taped off. Stay on that side. Yeah. Oh, and the dogs. Best judge of character is a dog. Yeah, so I guess the rest of the movie is like them just re like him figuring it out. It's gonna be her, and she has to like kind of get in his way right before he's about to notice, so he doesn't figure out it's her. Oh my good Nana's still there. She saw her though. Drawn me. Oh, he's gonna talk to her, but she she's barely said a word, and she can't really hear. So maybe I don't know. <laughs> Oh, Chris is here. Oh, oh. Stop! 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 He's gonna judge Chris now because of that. It's my middle name. Only the help calls me you. Jesus. What a freaking rich, pretentious asshole. I just want to ask a few questions. Wow. Damn, Steve Rogers switched off. That's why the dogs don't like him. They can judge, judge his character perfectly. We're officers of the law. You gonna run me in? I don't feel like talking. I'm distraught. Funny, Ransom, you skipped the funeral, but you're early for the will reading. Mmm, yeah, mmm. Hey, people grieve in different ways, let's... That's, that's not grieving, dog. Oh, why are you even bothering? That's what... You know his motives, okay? What's that supposed to mean? He knows what it's supposed to mean. Wait, call him out, Walt. Fuck, Ransom. Wanna go? Come on! Hey, no, 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 watch out, no, no, no. <laughs> 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 you gotta do this more often. <laughs> the fight with Ransom. Now you heard something. Spill it. My will. My will. Mm -hmm. And then I heard Ransom say, I'm warning you. Oh. And cut this worthless little brat out of his will. 
So I mm -hmm. so I said my will and everything. You're nuts. Mm hmm. But he, I feel like he knows something. So he's he's not tripping right now. Unless it's he doesn't realize. Tell you he was gonna cut you out of the will. Yep. Hmm. Eh, he's not worried because he thinks he's gonna be fine. Maybe this might finally make you grow up. Oh, fuck. He's gonna have a reality check. It might be the best thing that could ever happen to you. It's gonna hit him. It hasn't hit him yet. Eat shit. What? How's that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where's that window? Oh, no. Yeah. Because it's behind a hidden door. It's the trick window. Mm -hmm. I suspect they go the length of the hallway. Footprints? On the night of the party, somebody who did not want to be heard climbing those steps went to a great deal of trouble to break into Harlan Thromby's rooms. Mm -hmm. Well, he's on there. It's getting closer. It is because Harlan altered his will a week before he died. Asked me not to submit it to the courts for probate until... Oh no. Did Chris fuck with it? Is that why he's not really tripping? Right. Um... 60 million. Yes, Ooh. 60 million in various cash accounts. Wow. Must be nice. Sole ownership of Blood Like Wine, his publishing company. Who gets it? Who gets it? Wrote up a statement when he was making the changes and he wanted that read. Hmm. Some of you may be surprised by the choice I've made here. No pleasure was taken in the exclusion. Just giving it to Chris, because Chris altered it. I hereby direct that all my assets, both liquid and otherwise, I leave in their entirety to Cr Marta Cabrera. Oh. Oh, her. Wow. This catalog, likewise, I leave in its entirety to Marta Cabrera. Wow, he left everything to her then. Shit, why is he smiling about that, huh? It's right. He's, you know, he was been... Dude, Chris did this. I don't, I don't believe, like... We're his family, so... <laughs> oh my god, nah. Fine, something, I think he did it. Yeah, she, she can't even process this. Out, out, right now. And Linda? No! Yeah, everyone in his family is just super entitled to get, like, something from him, you know? I mean, I'd be pretty mad if, like, my grandpa died and, like, his shit didn't go to anyone of the family. You know? Uh, likewise, the house at Two Dearborn Drive and all belongings therein, I leave to Marta Cabrera. Yep. <gasps> God damn. She didn't do this. Uh, Little Linda. bitch! Did you know about this? No. I think everybody just needs to cool it. You had sex with my grandpa, you dirty angry. <laughs> No, nah, she didn't do it. He just really respected her. And he's, she's probably the only person he could genuinely have trusted. Everyone is, everyone else is a fucking snake, dude. Because she's genuine and she's a genuine and wholesome person. I'm like, oh, he's on Instagram Live. I mean, honestly, when she, oh shit, oh yeah, Ransom's like, let's go, I'll take you out of here, and he's gonna talk her and like giving him shit. Oh my god. But I think this could be the best thing to happen to all of you. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, okay. Ransom didn't fuck with it. He just thinks it's hella funny. Okay, seriously though, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> he wanted you to build something from the ground up. Build like something mm -hmm. from the ground up. Yeah, my mother built her business from the ground up with a million dollar loan from my grand. <laughs> I fucking knew it! Like from here on out, I was gonna have to fend for myself. And that felt... Good. Mm-hmm. Like you, you, it feels good when you work for stuff, you know? It feels good. It feels good. It, when you have that pressure on you, it feels kind of good, not gonna lie. It's a little adrenaline rush. I know you just ate a full plate of baked beans and sausage. Oh god. Yeah, that's why I gave that to her. So. What happened? Tell me in the eye. <laughs> and tell me what happened to my grandfather. Tell me everything. I just want to even talk. I should be like, no. What about the Slayer rule? Hmm. I did just Google that. <laughs> what the hell is the Slayer rule? Well, it's if someone is convicted of killing the person. They don't get mm. their information. Mm. Even if they're held responsible for their death in civil court. Like OJ. <laughs> Harlan committed suicide. Yeah. So they're going to have to prove that he didn't. Everyone in the family is going to have to prove he didn't. Yep. They look right at Daniel Craig. 
And honestly, they'll probably just blame it on her. When she did really do it, but they'll probably blame it on her. Thinking that, like, well, she didn't do it, but we have to blame it on her to prove that she did. So we get the, the inheritance and everything, so. God bless you, you're useless. <laughs> God damn. Huh. I know. Just saying it, it sounds insane, but it's all true. Oh, she told him. My sister? We... Yeah, yeah, look after them, you know. I always thought I was the only one that could beat him a go. <laughs> I always <laughs> That game, well. I'm not going to tell my family shit. <laughs> not gonna go to jail. I do. I do believe you won't tell him. I I do believe you on that. But he's he wants a cut. He he wants some of it. That's the cat. The catch is he he wants it. And right now and still get your cut of the inheritance. Why? Because fuck my family. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking. That's his motive. Yeah. You're gonna give me my cut of the inheritance. Yeah. I see. Happy ending. Everybody wins. You, me. He wants the money, but he wants to make sure he fucks it, fucks over his family in the process. Look, no one knows I'm calling you. I just, I wanted to. I feel like everyone knows she's calling her. I wanted to say sorry for how everyone was. You should do whatever you think is right. I think you should give it back to us. No. I know he was like family to you, but we're his actual family. I mean, I guess, but like. But you're all kind of degenerates, so I don't know. She says I'm gonna have to drop out of school. No, 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 Meg. Look, I'll... Yeah, I'll spot you, dog. And I want you to know I'm gonna take care of you. I promise. I'll take care of Meg. I like Meg. Fuck, honestly, fuck everyone else in this family, though. Oh my god, she just hung up. Yeah, I knew everyone was gonna be right there. God damn. Yeah, they made Meg do that. I mean, like... Don't get me wrong, the family is, and they are entitled to the money, I guess, but, I don't know, it doesn't feel right giving it to them, I guess. Like, I, I don't want them to get it, you know? I don't think any of them really deserve it. Doesn't mean they should just get fucked completely, but... Nana, Nana's the only one that saw her. No! He's here. She's gonna tell. Well, she thought it was Ransom, though, so he's gonna blame it on Ransom. And Ransom's gonna get fucked, and then he's gonna ride her out. So then so he doesn't get fucked. That's how I see this movie going. I think you have something you wanna tell me. Mm hmm. But I'll happily wait. Lawyers were here, very big lawyers. It looked like they left all this stuff and business cards. Yeah, the lawyers, the lawyers want to represent her so they get a fat check. This, Marta, ¿qué está pasando? I don't like it either. Yeah, I wouldn't want all the attention that comes with it. Fuck that. What? Oh. Uh, I came, uh, hey. Okay, I do feel kind of bad for Walt. I wouldn't mind giving him some, giving him some money. Oh. I kind of went a little crazy yesterday. Understand? Yeah. Like, yeah, I understand them going crazy because they're all tweaking about it. I do understand it, but like... Marta, is it your intention to renounce the inheritance? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Harlan put you in a very hard position here. I mean, it was unfair of him. <laughs> Not really. He fucking cashed me out. What do you mean? My mother? Yeah. Mm. Oh, fuck. Are you gonna fucking... No, dude, you're gonna blackmail her? You're missing the point. No. I mean, we don't want to attack you with this, but... <laughs> Marta, if your mother came into the country illegally, else I'd be afraid that could come to light. And that's what we want to avoid here. We can protect you. Nah, you'll probably do it anyway if I renounce it. Tarlan gave me all your resources. Mm-hmm. With my resources, I'll be able to fix it. So I guess I will find the right look. Exactly. I love it. I know what you did. <gasps> Who is this? Okay, but this is a photocopy of just the header of a blood toxicology report. Marta, this oh. is going to show the morphine overdose. Hmm. Shit. But what kind of blackmail scheme is this? Dude, it's the pr whoever did the autopsy wants a cut. That's what it has to be. What's oh. the point in sending you this? Because they want a cut. 
That's what I'm guessing. It means blood stores, records, anything of that nature, it's all gone. There were mm. no employees here, so. Mmm. Okay. Bro, did her and Ransom do this? So all the records are gone? So they can't prove the morphine overdose? Shit. Okay, never mind, never mind. Take by what I said about them doing it. Seems the blackmailer has the only paper copy of the thing that can prove your guilt. Fuck. Any other there is one. Mm. Yeah, that's it. 12.09 Columbus. What, what day? Tomorrow? You know what this means, right? If you destroy that copy, you're totally in the clear. Oh shit, oh shit, he sees us. Oh no, are you, are you flooring it? I literally... Bro, they're in a Prius, dog. What do you expect? You know, just to get mm -hmm. that report back up. Get it back and destroy it. Let's do. I spoke to Winetta Thromby, great Nana. The party, she saw someone climbing the trellis to the third floor. Ransom. What he came back to do, but we'll find out. <sighs> uh, does he snitch? I don't know. But he doesn't know that Nana saw her and thought it was him, but he'll probably figure that out pretty quick. Peace. And if it reveals it, <sighs> arc would resolve the slinky become on. <laughs> I need to pick something up. Whatever it is, we can work it out. But we have to figure it out right here, right now. And I'm leaving with that report. Is it, are they dead? <gasps> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, her. She dead? She dead? <sighs> oh no, I was gonna frame her. This is gonna frame her now. Did you take something? Well, I'm gonna call an ambulance now. You're gonna be okay. No. Josh? What? What are you saying? Oh. oh, get away with the system! She's trying to help her. It's very honest. Stays bright. It's very honest of her to stay and help. But it's gonna get her fucked. Listen, this is over. People are getting hurt. So I'm gonna tell you the truth. Young Ransom uh. just told Lieutenant Elliot everything. This guy's book? Yes. And the whole blackmailing? Mm -hmm. No, no, he's baiting her so hard right now. He's baiting, he's baiting her. But she didn't seem like a user to me, unless that's why she needed the blackmail money. Yeah, this is the first time he's hearing this. He's like, wait, 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 wait. I won't get away with it, and I called the ambulance. Mm -hmm. That's it. I still think this is a bad idea. Hmm. I know where the tax report is. Hmm. Oh, Van Stash. She basically told me where it was. Yep. Who check a clock? And what I'm about to say. That you deserved to hear it from me. Oh, he's down here. He's about to drop a nuke. I... Excuse me. Mm. Oh, treated her like shit to mm. steal mm. back a fortune that you lost and she deserves. Miss Cabrera has decided definitively not to renounce the inheritance. Why is he? Okay. Bombay is ruled as suicide. Why? Dan, he read something. He's about to tell her, but... Ransom told you, and I'm telling you now. It is an immovable fact that I killed Harlan. You small a donut with its own hole, and our donut is not a hole at all. Look, don't get to the point. Why was I hired? Yeah, who even hired you then? It was to reverse Marta's inheritance. Someone who knew what Marta did wanted to expose it, but mm -hmm. could not reveal how they knew. Friend. Yeah. She friend? was blackmailing me. She knew what I did. The answer is not so simple. Okay, then who the fuck is it? Marta, I'm so sorry. I told them everything. I figured it was up. I'm sorry. Hey, it's all right, Ransom. Did Ransom actually do it? Do something else? Why, I hired you. Hmm. Let's back it up to the night okay. of the party. Okay. Your argument with Harlan. My will and I'm warning you. Yeah. Makes sense, because he knew he wasn't going to get anything, and then he set all this up to get the will to her, and so he could make that deal with her in 50-50. You can't be serious! Not a red dime or word of my work to a single one of them. Wow. Oh, the later, uh, what was it? Feeling an overwhelming sense of... Clarity. Mm-hmm. It all makes sense now. Himself from here on out. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You return. Careful to avoid the gate security camera ring. But it is essential that you are alone and undetected. You knew. Hmm. Switched out. If Marta was responsible for his death, 
even unintentionally, would nullify the change will and you would get your share back. If he did that, if the meds were switched, then when I got them mixed up, I, I accidentally switched them back, so I gave Harlan... The correct doses, but not accidentally. You knew because you'd done it a hundred times. Yep. Harlan was perfectly fine. Wow. His blood was normal. Okay. The cause of death was truly, solely suicide. Wow. So, okay, that's what he read on the paper. Okay. You and called the ambulance. He would be alive today. Yep. That's fucked. This is fucked, dude. <laughs> when Great Nana spotted you climbing down the trellis, she said, Ransom? Yeah, because she thought she saw Ransom. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why she thought it was him. It's your word. You have her confession. You have that. With your permission, I'd like to spin a little further. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> they barked. We can. Yeah, the dogs did bark. Pretty nurse, but of a slit throat and a suicide. Now the circumstances are perfect for the anonymous hiring of me. Crime has been committed by Miss Cabrera. You need her to be caught for it. You cannot reveal how you know. Enter Benoit Blanc. I wonder why you're going into Harlan's study. Or so you think. Hmm, he was here. Oh, Fran was here. She witnessed you tampering with Harlan's medication in the medical bag. She gets a copy of the toxicology report. Yeah. And then what, he put it in her mail or something? He now realizes that Marta has committed no crime and the tox risk you decide. Yeah. You're not gonna give up the money. You're not yep. gonna give up the money. In for a penny, in for a pound. Daniel Craig is a really good detective then. <laughs> yep, he did it, okay. Step one, destroy all evidence of Marta's innocence. Mm-hmm and deliver her the blackmail note. All right, switch it up. Oh, I knew it. I knew you were a no- mm -hmm. Yeah, then he fucked her up in the chair, okay. Don't come near me, I'm oh. warning you! Damn. And the burned evidence, Marta will get arrested for killing Fran and her. She said you. Yeah, she thought it was ransom. Plead you once again by having a kind heart by saving Fran's life. Wow. She didn't play your game. She saved Fran's life. Mm-hmm. Wow, she's a great person. Fran's alive? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Who will confirm this very story? <gasps> no, are they saying Fran's dead? <laughs> Watch them say Fran's dead. He's already he's already on a dog. Friend's dead. Doctor does great news. Hmm. We'll be there soon. Thank you. Oh. She's ready to talk. Oh, okay, cool. Super Wagner. Yeah, he's fucked. He knows it. Put you into our family, and now you think you can not gonna fight to protect my home? Shut up. Our birthright? Our ancestral family home? Wait, what are you talking about, dog? Yeah, that is who he. Yo, Holland, he bought this place in the 80s from a Pakistani oh, real estate. <laughs> have on me. Nothing. What, attempted murder? I get arson for the building and a few other charges with a good lawyer, which I have. I'll be out in no time. Hell, I can wreak on your life, you vicious little bitch. Oh, <laughs> ew, ew. 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 Friend's dead. So he just admitted to all and you that. you just confessed to her murder. Oh my god, his ass. Good shit. She was holding that in. She was holding that in. In for a penny. Oh shit. You're not getting away with this. Oh shit. Oh. He got her. Wow. Wow. She, wow. Unless it's a fake knife that collapses in, you know? <laughs> 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 
You bitch. You're a bitch. You're a dummy. <laughs> Shit. Damn, all those knives. Wow, that was. That's lucky. Are all the knives like that? Or he just happened to grab that one that's like that? Like, damn. Hmm. Not on it, but. Well, unless it's a black light, but I don't know, whatever. You're not bribing them, dog. Oh my god. I, yeah, it wasn't a black light, but it was something like that. When did you know I had something to do with Harlan's death? Oh, from the first moment you set foot in front of me. Oh, <laughs> oh his shoe, her shoe, with the blood on it. Yep. He didn't judge you, though. You're a good person. This family. Fuck this family. I should help them. Right? Yeah, you probably should, though. Well, I have my opinion. <laughs> but I have a feeling you'll follow your heart. Yeah. <laughs> Get off my lawn, whatever. My house, my rules, my coffee, well. <sighs> well, that was Knives Out from 2019. This was a very fun movie. All right, so that was Knives Out from 2019. From 2019, I had a lot of fun with this movie. This was a really good movie, actually. Like, this is one of the best movies I've seen in a very long time because this kept me very captivated the entire time. And it was a very, it was also just very fun to follow with, you know. And like, I feel like I didn't really say too much throughout the movie, so I apologize through that for that. But I was just trying to listen to what they were saying, and like, I felt like I didn't really say too much throughout this movie, just because I really wanted to listen to what they were saying. Because in the beginning of the movie, I was kind of saying what I was thinking, and then I accidentally talked over some stuff, and I was like, oh shit, I got, I, I gotta stop talking over everyone. I gotta listen to what they're saying because everything they're saying is super important. And then also, I would wait for a moment to where like nothing's really happening, to where like no one's saying anything to say what I'm thinking, but then by the time I get to say what I'm thinking, it already happens. And then it's like, damn it, you know? So what I try to do is I try to acknowledge it in a way without talking over them, like, you know, making a subtle gesture, like, mm, or, you know, like a facial expression, just so you guys know that I, I'm acknowledging what just happened and I understand what's happening, but without talking over anything. I hope that makes sense. Daniel Craig was very captivating in this movie. He played a role I did not expect him to play at all in this movie. You know, it threw me off a little bit, not gonna lie. But then I was like, you know what, I really like this. I thought this movie had a great cast of actors and everything, but Ransom was the one who tried to kill him. And like, I thought that in the beginning of the movie, you know, because he stormed out and I was like, well, okay, it seems like he tried to do it. But then like, once we got deeper in the movie, it was like, okay, well, he wasn't there to do any of it. But then, you know, he snuck back in the house and everything. And then once it revealed that Marta was the one that accidentally killed him, it was like, oh, okay, then that's what happened, whatever. But, so the movie wanted us to think it was Ransom and the, at, at first, and then they revealed to us it's not, but then it ends up actually being him in a way. You know, he ends up being the one behind it. So it's like, okay, he tried to get us with that. So yeah, this movie was just very chaotic, I felt like, and it was really fun. It was really damn fun. But Ransom did end up killing Fran, so then, and he admitted to it, and Marta got him through that because she lied to him about her still being alive and you know she you know so then he admitted to whatever doing everything and then boom got his ass she did die <laughs> I was like shit this is that I feel like this is definitely a movie you gotta watch like twice you definitely gotta watch more than once to really kind of like, get what's happening you know and like when you do rewatch this movie you'll see it way more clearly and everything too I feel like they intentionally kind of cast Chris Evans to play Ransom I felt like that was a fantastic casting because you know I, like, I'm sure a lot of us are very used to seeing him as Captain America like that like honestly dude that's like one of the only things I've really seen him in besides that like maybe like one movie outside of Captain America I've seen him play I've seen him play a role maybe like one time outside of Captain America it, but so I'm just used to him being Captain America and so like I'm naturally inclined to trust him because he's Steve Rogers and so you know, it ended up being like that. But then again, like, just thinking about his character, though, that's why I didn't really trust him and everything. 
dude, I'm pretty sure I called it was Ransom at some point in the movie before they revealed it. Like he's behind it. And I really hope I did say it. Because I know I definitely had the thought, but I hope I, I hope I said it. Because dude, so so often I'll have a thought and then I'm like, nah, it's probably not true. And then it ends up being true. I'm like, fuck, I should have said it. You know? But then at the same time, a good amount of the time too, it ends up not being true too, so. But yeah, this is definitely a movie you gotta watch more than once just to catch all the small details and everything. So it makes it a very rewatchable movie, I feel like. But yeah, that was Knives Out from 2019. Comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.